At European Union ports, there's a huge pileup of Chinese electric vehicles, looking like a giant wave hitting Europe's economy hard. The busy ports now look like quiet parking lots for these cars, showing a big gap between what was hoped for and what really happened in the car market. The trade fight between the EU and China is heating up. This showdown is like a ticking time bomb, ready to shake up how cars are made and sold all around the globe. But before we get into the details, hit that like button and subscribe to Tech Revolution. We're all about bringing you the latest and greatest updates, so you don't want to miss out. All right, let's get right into it. The European Union, EU, and China are locked in a heated dispute over electric vehicles, EVs. This clash arises amidst the rapid evolution of the automotive industry, where EVs are at the forefront of innovation and global competition. As the push for greener transportation gains momentum worldwide, both the EU and China have emerged as major forces in the electric car market. However, they find themselves at odds over various issues, highlighting the challenges in harmonizing their visions for the future of mobility. Electric car sales have skyrocketed. In 2020, when other car sales were going down, electric car sales shot up to 3 million units, which was 4.1% of all car sales. By 2022, this number more than doubled to over 6.6 .6 million units. People want these cars because of new technology, government incentives, and a desire for cleaner travel options. But as more people want electric cars, the EU and China are clashing over trade rules and taxes. One main problem is about where electric cars and their parts are made, which can affect taxes. The EU wants to keep its current rules until the end of 2027. Some people don't like this because they think it will stop the EU from having a competitive market for electric car parts. China, on the other hand, is said to be helping its electric car industry with money and making it hard to get important materials like lithium and cobalt. This has made the disagreement worse, with both sides putting extra taxes on each other's products. This disagreement is important for both sides. The EU wants to be a leader in electric cars to meet climate goals and keep its car industry strong. It aims to have 30 million zero-emission vehicles by 2030. China, which sold over 60% of the world's electric cars in 2022, wants to keep its top spot and protect its industry. As this disagreement continues, both the EU and China need to figure out how to deal with these issues solve their trade problems, and keep coming up with new ideas to stay ahead in the quickly changing electric car market. The demand for Chinese electric vehicles, EVs, in Europe has led to big jams at European ports, with too many of these popular cars and not enough ways to move them. This problem is mainly because there aren't enough truck drivers, not because the Chinese car makers did something wrong. These cars are stuck at ports, showing how much Europe wants Chinese EVs. The port of Antwerp Bruges, a key place for importing cars into Europe, is really feeling this jam. Some Chinese EVs have even been stuck at ports for up to 18 months. Now ports are asking for plans on how to move these cars. The situation got tougher when Germany stopped giving money to help people buy EVs, causing more cars to just sit at ports. Still, Chinese car makers really want to sell more cars in Europe, and in 2023, they sent 58% more cars than before to places like Belgium, the UK, Germany, and the Netherlands. But finding trucks to move these cars has been hard, especially with big demand for popular brands like Tesla. This has caused more delays and made the pileup of cars even bigger. The whole system for moving cars around the world is under pressure, with a 17% increase in long car trips from last year and more delays because of problems like attacks on the Red Sea. The Chinese government knows about these problems and has told car makers to get better at handling risks and planning for the market. They also said car makers should look for other places to sell their cars where they have strong sales and good support for moving their cars. The electric vehicle, EV market, is in a tough spot. People are interested in EVs to help the environment and because they want them, but dealers are stuck with more and more unsold cars. This problem is because of money issues and doubts about buying EVs, showing it's not easy to switch to cleaner cars. Car companies are making more EVs due to new laws and thinking more people will buy them. 
However, these cars aren't selling as hoped, creating a big stack of unsold EVs. The high upfront cost of EVs compared to gas cars, concerns about battery range, not enough charging stations, and misunderstandings about EV tech make people think twice about buying. The economy's state, with higher interest rates and prices, also makes buying EVs harder. Car makers dropping prices and offering deals mean even more cars don't sell as buyers wait for better bargains. This unsold EV issue is worldwide, especially in the United States, European Union, and China. In the United States, by November 2023, there were over 2.5 million new unsold vehicles, including more than 92,000 EVs, over double from the previous year. Big companies like GM, Ford, and Toyota had unsold EVs for more than 90 days by July 2023. In the EU, not just EVs but also solar panels are unsold, with over 80 gigawatts by October 2023, possibly hitting 100 gigawatts by year's end. Electric car stock rose by 55% from the end of 2021 to 2022, nearing 3 million. In China, a surge in government-supported cheap short-range EVs has led to too many unsold cars. By August 2023, there were visible collections of these unwanted EVs, showing a significant oversupply. The European Union EU, is facing a growing crisis as a flood of unsold Chinese electric vehicles EVs, overwhelms ports across the continent. In September 2023, the European Commission initiated an anti-subsidy investigation targeting Chinese EV manufacturers. The investigation aims to determine if these companies benefit from unfair state subsidies, providing them with an artificial advantage over European competitors. The investigation has escalated tensions between the EU and China, with accusations of protectionism from both sides. If the investigation concludes that Chinese EV makers receive unfair subsidies, the EU could impose tariffs on their imports. This action could potentially trigger a trade war with severe consequences for both economic powerhouses. European automakers, heavily reliant on the Chinese market and its intricate supply chains, are particularly vulnerable to a potential trade war. Retaliatory measures from China could disrupt their operations and significantly impact their sales in the world's largest car market. The potential trade war extends beyond the EU and China, posing a threat to the global transition towards electric mobility. Disruptions in supply chains and increased costs could hinder EV adoption worldwide, impacting efforts to combat climate change. In late 2023, Chinese electric vehicles, EVs, made significant inroads into the European market, capturing an increasing share of sales. According to industry reports, the market share of Chinese EVs in Europe grew rapidly, reaching around 8% by the end of the year. The mounting trade disputes among the world's largest economies, including the United States, China and the European Union, are casting a shadow over the EV industry's future. These tensions highlight the industry's strategic importance in the global market and the competition for leadership in EV technology and production. China's position as the leading EV market and its government's substantial support for domestic manufacturers have sparked concerns in the West about unfair competition. This has led to investigations and proposed countermeasures by the US and the EU aiming to protect their own EV sectors from market imbalances. The prospect of tariffs and import restrictions by the US and the EU threatens to increase consumer costs, disrupt supply chains, and risk jobs. These trade barriers are a response to safeguard domestic industries, but could have wide-reaching consequences for global trade and manufacturing. The EV industry depends on a global network for essential components like batteries and rare earth minerals. A prolonged trade conflict risks severing these connections, causing shortages and elevating production costs across the board. In an effort to avoid trade hurdles, companies might relocate or open new production sites, potentially leading to economic shifts and job losses in some regions, while creating opportunities in others. This realignment aims to secure more localized supply chains and reduce dependency on foreign components. 
The European Union EU, has started checking if there's an unfair boost in Chinese electric vehicle EV, imports because of subsidies. This is happening as Chinese cars are taking up more of the European EV market, growing from 6% in 2021 to about 16% by early 2023. If the EU finds these subsidies are unfair, they might put extra taxes on Chinese EVs. At the same time, there are questions about how the quick move to electric cars and efforts to cut down carbon emissions might affect the environment. A report from the UN says it's not clear what the environmental impact of current electric cars and carbon trading plans in big places like the US, China, and Europe is. The International Energy Agency, IEA, thinks that China's oil processing will go up by about 1 million barrels a day from 2022 to 2028, reaching nearly 18 million barrels a day. This could change how global oil refining and trading works. As the EV market keeps changing fast, it's important for the people making policies and those in the car industry to keep an eye on these issues and get ready to tackle them. The electric car trade war between the European Union, EU, and China is showing the tough challenges in moving towards greener transportation, with both regions fighting over rules, subsidies, and market shares. This fight has led to a pileup of unsold Chinese electric cars at European ports, showing both the high demand for these vehicles and the logistical problems in getting them to buyers. At the same time, the world is watching how this battle and the rapid push for electric cars might affect the environment and the global car market. As the EU investigates Chinese subsidies and considers taxes, the outcome could reshape the future of electric vehicles, affecting everything from prices to where cars are made. How do you think the disagreement between Europe and China over electric cars will affect our future use of cars and the environment? Drop your thoughts below and join the conversation. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Tech Revolution for more updates on how the world is changing the way it powers our lives. See you in the next video.